Welcome back. Of course, here on The Morning Blend, we talk a lot about your health and how to keep yourself healthy. And today, we're actually going to be talking about diabetes and how it actually affects your eyes. So I am coming all the way to Southwestern Eye Center with Dr. Diaz. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, so we're talking about diabetes today. Let's kind of just go over what diabetes is, and then we'll talk about how it affects the eyes. Diabetes is a disease in which patients have an abnormal processing of glucose or sugars uh, in the body, the bloodstream. So when we ingest or take in uh, sugars or as we call the most common form in our bloodstream, glucose, the uh, body sends a signal to uh, the organ, which is the pancreas, which produces insulin. So we all hear about insulin, um, which some diabetic patients have to inject. And this is the hormone that regulates the processing of glucose or sugar in the body. So there is an upset in the balance of either producing of the insulin or the signaling to the pancreas um, to release insulin. And so how does that end up affecting our eyes or our eyesight? Well, with diabetes, the glucose level is elevated. So instead of having a glucose level, for example, of 80 to 100, um, Diabetic patients may have a glucose level of 300, 250, which is excessive. This excessive level of glucose then starts affecting the small blood vessels in the body, causing them to break down and um, become leaky. So these small blood vessels in the body um, are located in organs like the eyes, located in the kidneys. They affect your uh, brain, your heart, um, your extremities, especially the feet. So as these small blood vessels break down, the uh, vessels become leaky and these um, uh, tissues become damaged. And so if it, I'm someone that is affected with diabetes, would I necessarily have to come in more often for maybe an eye exam? So the recommendations for diabetic eye exams um, are any adult or type 2 diabetics should see a doctor as soon as they're diagnosed because they've usually had diabetes for a number of years before they've diagnosed, so they've had a few years for the damage to develop. Uh, type 1 diabetics or children typically that are diagnosed with diabetes, um, the recommendation is to have an eye exam um, at least within five years of being diagnosed. Um, but most doctors will send them a year or two after they've been diagnosed. And we kind of hit on, you know, even prior to being diagnosed, you know, you may have been dealing with this. And so it, are there symptoms or anything that we could be dealing with that should say maybe I should come in more often or, or have my doctor, you know, take a look at my eyesight? Yes. Um, increased blood sugar levels typically causes blurred vision. Mm -hmm. And it's a fluctuating blurred vision. So when the glucose is in a normal range, the vision clears up. If the patient ingests a big meal and the glucose goes higher, then they may notice a transient or um, blurring of the vision. So anybody that's experiencing blurry vision that comes and goes is a uh, uh, sign that should be looked into. Um, but any uh, effect on the eye can cause um, blurring of vision with the diabetes. So, but that's the first indication that somebody should uh, get an exam. And is, you know, we're talking about the blurred vision and, and things that, that can happen once, you know, you know that's something that you're dealing with. Is there any treatment that necessarily the eye doctor can help us with? So the first thing, um, the most important thing in diabetics is to control the glucose. And um, we have very good uh, medication that primary care doctors are doing a great job of keeping the glucose under control with uh, pills. Um, diet is a big uh, form of treatment, controlling your diet and exercise. Um, some patients have to go on to insulin if, they can't, if they're not controlled with the uh, medication or diet. So that's the number one priority because the only thing that's been proven to help prevent complications in the eyes and the rest of the body is to uh, tightly control the glucose. And so, of course, uh, coming into the office, we'll be able to tell if, you know, any of the site that you're dealing with is due to the diabetes or something else that we would have to, to tackle. Correct. Correct. Yes. The eye exam that we do for diabetics is a complete eye exam. Some patients um, are 
familiar with eye exams that we get for glasses, for example, where they may just check you, your vision and check you for the need for glasses. And this is one type of eye exam. But the diabetic eye exam, um, we also check the pressure. We dilate the eyes, and by dilating the eyes, we can look in the back. And that's where we see most of the damage is in the retina in the back of the eyes. So if you're going to see a doctor for an eye exam, make sure that they dilate your eyes and look in the back. And once they do the dilated eye exam, then we can look for these uh, changes in the retina. Well, and of course, Southwestern Eye Center is a great place to come in order uh, for that to be done. Correct, yes. At Southwestern Eye Center, we do complete eye exam uh, with dilation and look for diabetic changes, but also glaucoma microgeneration and other diseases that may affect you. Well, doctor, thank you so much for letting me come out here. I'm sure our viewers uh, that are dealing with this are happy to hear that there's a place that they can come and get that full uh, eye exam done. So thank you again. Thank you for coming.